Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauzer Wise, and this is the continuation video of sequencing model. Already, we have seen four different models under sequencing. In this series, we are going to see the fifth model that is processing n jobs through single machine that is one machine. In that, we have four different models. Number one, shortest processing time rule. Number two, weighted shortest processing time rule. Number three, earliest due date rule. And the last one, slack time remaining rule. Okay. So, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to see the first model that is a shortest processing time rule. Let's see the problem. See the first model, SPT, shortest processing time rule. Okay. Seven jobs, A, B, C, D, E, F and G are to be processed on a single machine. Okay. The processing times and due dates are given below. Here we have seven jobs and processing time in minutes and due date in minutes are given in the table. Okay. With this, assuming that no new jobs are arrived thereafter, determine using shortest processing time rule. Okay. So they are asking you to find out these things. The first one, optimal sequence. Second one, completion time of the jobs. Third one, mean flow time. Fourth one, average in process inventory. Fifth one, lateness, mean lateness and maximum lateness. And the last one, number of jobs actually late. Okay. Now we are going to see the solution. Okay. The first one is uh, optimum sequence. So we are going to find out the optimal sequence according to shortest processing time. For that, we need to consider processing time. Okay. Here we have processing time for seven different jobs. No. In that, we have to select the minimum duration job first. Okay. So, here we have processing time. No. Which is the least value? Four is the minimum duration. So, we can assign this job first. The next minimum is five. So, second. And the next minimum is eight. But here, job C and job G has same duration. In this case, we have to follow the order. So, according to this order, we can select this one. So, third. And the next one is this one. Fourth. Okay. Then, the next minimum duration is 10. So, fifth job is B. Next one, 15. So, sixth job is E. Next one, the last one, 20. No. This is the seventh job. This is the optimal sequence in order to process all the seven jobs in single machine. That is D, A, C, G, B, E and F. Okay. Now let's move on to the second one. See the second one. Completion time of the jobs. So now we are going to find out the total time required to complete all the seven jobs according to the optimal sequence. The first job is D. No. What is the duration? 4. So, first job completion time is 4 minutes. Second job, 5 minutes. No. So, 4 plus 5, 9. Ninth minute will complete 2 jobs. The next one, third one, 8. So, 9 plus 8, 17. In this way, we need to find out the total completion time of the 7 jobs. Now, let's see the solution. See the solution. Completion time of these jobs. Okay. So, first job, fourth minute. Second job, 4 plus 5, 9. Third job, 9 plus 8, 17. Next job, 17 plus 8, 25. So, in this way, we have calculated completion time of these jobs. That is 70 minutes respectively. Now, let's see the problem for the third one. See the problem. The next one is mean flow time. See the calculation. See the third one, mean flow time. Okay. So, in order to find out the mean flow time, just add the completion time of each and every job. Find out the total and divided by how many number of jobs? 7. Okay, you will be getting mean flow time. That is 30 minutes is the mean flow time for 7 different jobs. Okay, see the problem. See the problem. The next calculation is average in process inventory. Okay, see the solution. See the solution. The next one is average in process inventory. Okay, for that here the number of jobs waiting as in process inventory. Totally 7 jobs are there. No, before we start the first job, the order is waiting order is 7 jobs are waiting in process. Okay, next one 6 jobs. 
then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this is the order of number of jobs waiting in process. Okay. Now, multiply with the actual duration. You will be getting the total. No. Then, divided by total completion time of all the 7 jobs. That is 70 minutes. Then, you will be getting average in process inventory. Let us see the calculation. See here, 7 into 4 plus 6 into 5 plus 5 into 8 plus 4 into 8. Like that we have calculated for all the 7 jobs divided by total completion time of all the 7 jobs. 70 minutes, no, divided by 70. So, average in process inventory is 3 jobs. Okay, now see the problem. See the problem. The next calculation is uh, lateness mean lateness and maximum lateness for that we are going to compare the actual completion time of each and every job according to the optimal processing and we are going to compare with the due date okay this is the due date given in the problem now let's see the completion time of each and every job according to optimal sequence in order to find out lateness see the solution see the second calculation completion time of these jobs First job completion time 4, next one 9 minutes, then 17 minutes. So, this is the completion time of 7 jobs. Okay. Now, we are going to compare each and every completion time with the due date. That is due time. See, here we have 7 jobs according to the optimal sequence and uh, completion time of each and every job. 4, 9, 17, 25, 35, 50 and 70. Now, we have to compare with the due time that is due date is given in the problem now in minutes just write down for the first one d job d 25 for a 15 for c 15 for g 45 for b 12 for e 30 for f 40 okay so by comparing these two things you can able to find out the lateness in minutes for the first job minus 21 so no lateness for the second one minus 6 for third one 2 minutes late. Okay. Then the next one minus 20. Then minus 23. Then 20 minutes late. Okay. The last one 30 minutes late. Okay. This is the lateness in minutes for each and individual job we have calculated. The next one is mean lateness. Mean means average. Okay. Just find out the average. Get the total and divided by how many jobs? 7 jobs. No. And this is the mean lateness. Minus 2.57. And the next one, maximum lateness. Okay. So, out of this lateness, the maximum duration is 30 minutes. Okay. So, 30 minutes is the maximum lateness. Actually, the last one is number of jobs actually late. Here, we have negative value as well as positive values. No. So, positive values alone is a late. So, C is the late 2 minutes. The next one, 20 minutes. E, 20 minutes late. And F is 30 minutes late. So, how many jobs? 3 jobs. So, number of jobs actually late is 3 jobs. Okay. See the problem. We have calculated lateness, mean lateness and maximum lateness as well as number of jobs actually late. Okay. So, this is the way to solve the problem by using SPT rule. For other models, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.